So we've had Ancient Ruins 12,000 CP unlocked and available to us for about two months now. And a lot of people, even free play players, are above that combat power and have been, uh, you know, be able to accomplish that. The next Ancient Ruins that is going to be unlocked is Primordial Ancient Ruins. This is expected to come between Q3, so you can expect a July, August, or September time frame. A couple things to note with the Primordial Ancient Ruins. A, base CP required to enter is 15,000. There is additional levels that will be unlocked later. However, they won't be unlocked initially. At least I don't expect them to be unlocked initially, kind of like with the Ancient Ruins we had currently. All the ancient primordial ancient ruins are 10,000 ancient tab required, and you need a tangled time, which I will cover how to acquire in this video. The rewards are pretty solid. For one base level at the uh, level one, you're getting 55 million experience and 22 million, or 55 million silver and 22 million experience. So it is pretty solid. There is three levels unlocked on the Korean server. Level one is 15,000 CP. Level 2 is 20,000, and level 3 is 25,000. The Tangle Times, which is right here, is required to enter. These can only be farmed one way, and that is from doing the World Boss Muraka. So, very similar to the Chaos Gear, he does drop the Chaos Gear requirements as well. So, you will be wanting to do the Muraka World Boss as soon as he comes, as much as possible, because he does drop some additional goodies for multiple items. So, Tangle Times... You do need them to enter the Primordial Ancient Ruins. Shout out to Angela for helping me get the content for this video again from the Muspelheim Guild on the Hex and Marie server. She is an avid Korea player, so she does understand the content over there. She does enter the Ancient Ruin, Primordial Ancient Ruins here one time at level 1 to show us what the rewards look like at the base level and just one entrance. Now, you could enter multiple times, meaning you could go in level 1 and do it, you know, two, three, or four times, depending on how many ancient ruin tabs you have. Now, the ancient tabs is, again, 10,000 ancient tabs in order to enter. I will show you what it looks like here as I talk to you guys about some additional requirements. So, uh, number one, you have to have your knowledge at level 100 just in order to enter. So it has to be at level 100. If your knowledge isn't level at 100 yet, I strongly recommend you getting there. Uh, I know for me, I've been playing since day one launch of this game, and mine's well over 100. The max current is level 200. Obviously, that's what you want to shoot for. And what's nice about the Primordial Ancient Ruins is that level 1 is going to give you a lot more experience towards that knowledge. So you're going to get a lot of knowledge gains initially when it comes out, which should you should, because it's costing 10,000 ancient tabs just to enter. So... Level 100 on your knowledge, paramount or else you won't be able to enter, and 10,000 ancient tabs. So recommend you saving some ancient tabs for when this comes out. Again, it's projected to come out according to Black Desert Mobile's roadmap, Q3, so July, August, September time frame. And when this unlocks, it does drop the items needed to craft pink light stones. So you can expect pink light stones to come out the exact same time, in my opinion, as the primordial ancient ruins because they do drop the items needed to upgrade your pink light stones. So I will cover the pink light stones in another video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I will show you guys the total rewards at the end of this video as well, so make sure you stay tuned for that also. Uh, so some additional things here. level there There is additional levels out in the Korean server, level 2 and level 3. And those probably won't come initially, like I said. They probably will come a few weeks, if not a month or three later for each additional level. That way it gives uh, you know everybody a chance to catch up in combat power and to reap their rewards. Now what's nice is each additional level still costs 10,000 ancient tabs and one tangled time. So initially level one is going to be released and it's going to be 10,000 ancient tabs. And it's going to be 15,000 CP requirement and one tangled time. When level two comes out, it's going to be also 10,000 ancient tabs and one tangled time with a 20,000 CP requirement. Level three is going to be 25,000 CP requirement and 10,000 ancient tabs and one tangled time as well. So what's nice there is it's always 10,000 ancient tabs and one tangled time. So it's paramount you get your knowledge to level 100. It's paramount you do Muroc the world boss when he comes out for the Chaos Gear Fragment items and for the uh, Tangle Times so that way you can enter the uh, Ancient Ruins. So that is what's necessary. Make sure you guys save those when possible. 
I currently don't do my ancient ruins too much, so I will save these as much as possible. My knowledge is like level 150, I want to say, so I am over that cusp of being what's needed. I don't foresee me getting to level 200 on the knowledge anytime soon. Uh, so maybe I will save those for the next three months until the Primordial Ancient Ruins unlocks for us. Uh, nothing fancy as far as once you're inside here. You can see here, it, it is five people that can enter. Now, she goes in with five bots, which is what I always go in with anyways. You don't need to wait for an advertise on world server chat, anything like that. But uh, aside, once you're inside, it's all the standard stuff. Nothing fancy. He does leave and then come back in the middle there when he's at 10 bars. He does drop some items right here, which you do have to uh, collect there. They do look like they're spirits. Uh, maybe they help increase your strength or decrease his strength, make it so you can kill him. It looks like she does go around killing all these, and it did happen at three bars, so make sure you guys accomplish that. Aside from that, nothing else. It's You're going to be your standard Ancient Ruins. Nothing fancy, unfortunately. Nothing exciting there's no mobs to kill in front of him just him again uh which is nice but that is the ancient primordial ancient ruins we're gonna go ahead and check out the rewards here in a second and this is base level reward so at level one and she only went in at one time so that way you guys can get an idea of what 10,000 ancient tabs is going to give you 55 million silver 22 million experience so pretty solid there Level one at one entry is giving you 27,500 ancient gold coins. And the fragments here vary between, it looks like about six and 12,000 fragments there. Maybe it goes to 13,000. It is RNG. Uh, so it's, she got 8,159 of the alchemy stone fragments, 6,700, almost 800 of the relic fragments little over 12,000 of the Lightstone Fragments, and then 12,500 of the Kaffir Dust, as well as two skill books, yellow, and then 10 of the items needed to upgrade your pink Lightstones. That's what the, the last item is there in red. So you will need that as well, and that is everything you get. And again, that's the rewards for one time at one entry level, and you can expect to see those rewards, which is pretty solid, and uh, don't forget the knowledge gains as well is going to be more significant than even the uh, 12,000 ancient ruins that we have, 12,000 CP ancient ruins requirement that we have now. Again, level one is 15,000. You will need 10,000 ancient tabs and one primordial, or I'm sorry, one tangled time and make sure your knowledge is at level 100. That is everything for the primordial ancient ruins. I hope you guys enjoyed and you've learned something. If you have, smash that like button on your way out. I greatly appreciate it. Give Angela a shout out in the comments down below. She appreciates it. And with that being said, I will see you next time.